What is going on guys? It is your boy Bass Grenier and today we're going to be trying another Carnivore Club box. Alright, now this is a special edition because it is in a uh, can uh, or case I guess you could say. And all the other ones it's basically in like a little like folded box. Uh, and it's nice but like not as nice as this. This is literally like a tin can or tin cover. I don't know how to what to call it, but uh, yeah, it's freaking nice. I'm gonna be able to use this after I, you know, try everything and eat everything in here, um, which is gonna be awesome because you know I can always use like extra storage like this, and it's perfect. Like it's not too big, it's not like too small. It's like kind of perfect to be real with you. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and open everything. Oh man! All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. By the way. It slides straight up, alright. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and slide Oh, for a while, won't it? <laughs> God. Okay. Um. Apparently, they, they had a contest. Congratulations to, uh. Looks like Tilly Catton. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. This is the box thingy. I'm gonna actually read this this time. Uh, I always make it hard on myself, and apparently this, uh, the beginning says New England. Carter, oh no, I wanna, I wanna butcher it. Jakarta, uh, hold on. Jakarta Turi, your Jakarta, your. So, all right. Anyways, it's like meat that you eat uh, raw, essentially. Um, and it's 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 more than that. It, it's like a little plate. I don't know. It's like meat, cheese, and like crackers or something like that. Um, anyways, Salsion de Gugal. Um, this uh, I, I don't want to say. It. it says this takes its name from the French white winery. Uh, I can't say that either. Stabbed with or steeped with history. This salami is made with white wine and fennel pollen. Okay. Uh, Finocciana, okay, is a classic Italian staple made its traditional recipe notes with notes of fennel, pepperoni, I mean pepperoni, no one can go wrong with pepperoni, New England, uh, okay, I'm not even going to try to say that again, on the ultimate piece of topping, it pairs very well with soft, subtle cheese, like brie, because it doesn't overwhelm the gentler flavors, uh, blue cheese salami, Oh no. Um, this BB snack steak is a colorful blend of flavor it's made with the perfect amount of genuine blue cheese, but the cheese does not overpower the salami. Alright, well, I hope it doesn't overpower the salami because I really don't like blue cheese. Um, sriracha salami. Made with your favorite Asian inspired hot sauce, this sriracha salami is a perfect mix of sweetness, heat, and savory chili peppers. And then, Lomo, the silky smooth meat. Of this whole dried cured pork loin is luxuriously soft in the middle, flavored with chili flakes and subtle notes of citrus. All right, so that's what we're working with today. Um, yeah, here we go. There's another thing. Um, oh, it's like a, oh, it's like a wine tasting thing. Not 21 yet, so I can't do that on here. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. Um, this looks like the the sriracha salami. Okay. Um, little paper thingy. Okay, this is the pepperoni. <laughs> uh, this is the. Oh, is this pepperoni again? Cause that actually says pepperoni on it. Okay, no, this is a dry salami. All right. Uh, there you go. Okay. Uh, this, this, this is so sick. Blue cheese salami. Oh god. <laughs> okay, and then this is that. Okay. Alright. Um. And yeah, this is uh, Lomo. Alright. Anyways, let's get on into it, guys. Okay, so this is the dry cured pork Lomo. Alright, that's the, like the easiest one out of all the names that I've ever had from uh, Carnivore Club. Uh, by the way guys, if you want, 
uh, to try anything from Carnivore Club, uh, go in the description, check out the website, and yeah, I mean, try it, like I'm doing right now. It's very interesting, it's meats that you wouldn't normally try, and if you like meat and stuff like that, it's pretty dope. Uh, anyways, it doesn't smell bad at all, it smells actually really good. Um, I'm not actually ready to try it, I think it's spicy. Mm-hmm, okay. Spice is definitely gonna kick in a second. I would think. Mm-hmm, okay, yeah, it's getting a little hotter. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good, man. This is very good. Scale 1 to 10. Mm. I'll give this like an 8. It's really good. Really good. Alright, on to the next one, guys. I'm not going to try to make this video too long. But uh, that was actually really good. <laughs> to be real with you. Okay, this is the... Gooey Gal. I didn't want to say it, but I think that's what it's Gooey Gal. Good gap. Here we go, guys. Hmm. Definitely hard to bite off. I don't know if this is weird to say, but it has like a smoothness to it. But it's very mellow. But strong at the same time. If I had rate on a scale 1 to 10, probably like a 7. It's not as good as like the Cicada 2 or whatever it's called. <laughs> but it's probably like one of the best uh, salamis that I've had from the Carnivore Club. It's some, there's something about it. It's like, it's smooth, it's sweet, but it also has that, you know, meatiness to it. I don't know. It's dummy good. Alright. Oh, on to the next one. Okay, so this is the Finocciata or something like that. It's like pepperoni, but it's not the pepperoni. The pepperoni's sitting right here. Uh, waiting for me to smash on that too. But, um, yeah, I'm going to give this a try right now. I'm trying to figure out, like, what is the difference between, like, this and pepperoni. Oh, okay. So there's like pepper in it and stuff. Like I was reading. Alright. Well, bottoms up, bruh. Hmm. Hmm. The wow. Put this on pizza. Mm, really good. I I I would my I'm gonna have to give this like a nine. This is really good. Really good. Um, yeah, on to the next one though. Okay, this is the sriracha. This is one I know how to say too. Um <laughs> here we go. Hmm. Well, all of these, so far, have been pretty good. I mean, to be real with you, I can't say the same about uh, some of the meats that they give me. But, guys, these, these are so awesome to try. Like, I wouldn't try these any other time but now, thanks to Carnivore Club. Like, I wouldn't go out of my way to think, oh, I'm gonna go try some Lomo, you know what I mean? And it's just nice, because now that I know I like that, and I like, uh, for instance, this, you know? I'll give it a solid 7, I guess you could say. It's pretty good. But anyways, guys. We're going to have to try the blue cheese salami, or whatever it's called. Let's see. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. I'm scared. Ah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the blue cheese salami. I'm scared. 
I'm so scared. Anyways, yeah, give me a minute. I gotta open it. All right, here, here we go, guys. I'm gonna try this, and I mean, I hope I like it, but like, if if for whatever reason I don't like it, I'll be able to try this because it's pepperoni. I mean, I know what pepperoni is, you know, but yeah, if I don't like this, I'll be able to wash it down. So here we go. The smell, um, actually not that bad. It's really not that bad. Actually, if anything, it smells good. Uh, here I go. It's juicy. Mmm. I mean, it's not bad. I don't know if I bit into the cheese or not. But they said that the cheese won't going to overpower the flavor. But like still, blue cheese you can taste, bro. That's why they put it in here and that's why they named it that. It reminds me of Jerky XP's uh, beef sticks, beef and cheese sticks. It's really good. If I actually had to rate this, I think I'd rate it about an 8. Um, I don't like blue cheese, but like, whatever they did to make it work, they, they did it. It tastes really good. Really good. Um, wow, I'm actually, I'm surprised because I don't like blue cheese. Uh, yeah, but on to the pepperoni. Let's do it. Alright, here we go, guys. Pepperoni in its purest form, I guess you could say. It's not cut up, it's not sliced up. It's really me just eating it right here, right now. Um, yeah, here we go. Hmm. You know, I never eat pepperoni raw. I always have it cooked. Not because I'm, you know, bougie and I want it cooked, but I never eat it when it's not cooked. Because, you know, it's on pizza so it gets cooked. Um, tastes like pepperoni, I mean, what more can I say? You know what pepperoni tastes like, right? And if you don't, for whatever reason, go try it. <laughs> but, yeah. It's pepperoni. I mean, I don't know what else to say, guys. Um, if I had to rate it, probably the best tasting one, obviously. Um, that's because it's my taste bud palette. Uh, it's in that realm, so I'm going to definitely like it. And probably like it the most, which I do. Um, but guys, um, like I said, if you want to check out Carnivore Club, uh, just go check out the description. Everything will be there. Go check them out. Give them a chance. Just get one box at least. And try it for yourself. This is a really, really awesome product. Uh, not the meat, but like the service. Uh, because you're going to try like random fancy foods and stuff like that. It's really cool. I mean, it's based around meat, but like... It's still cool because, like, you wouldn't try this stuff any other day. That's the, that's the, that's the thing I want to get across. You wouldn't try this any other day. Uh, unless you're fancy or something like that. Uh, and your, uh, range is very wide. Uh, but guys, um, if you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like, make sure you subscribe. If you want to subscribe, click here. If you want to watch another video, click here. And, well, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.